Hi guys, Sandra here of the blog with SensibleMom.com. Welcome back to my channel and another day in the life of our RV living adventure. So today we're headed to Legoland for a day of fun, but first we're getting lunch at Red Robin. So of course we were at Red Robin the other day for my birthday and uh, we don't normally come um, twice in like seven days but uh, we were at Best Buy yesterday to get a mouse for Nathan and I was using um, uh, a gift card that I had for doing some social media work for Best Buy and we were paying for his mouse and I saw the gift cards there for restaurants and things like that and I was like I wonder if I can use my Best Buy gift card to pick up a couple of uh, uh, you know Red Robin gift cards or something that you know we could use and um, the cashier said yeah that I could so I grabbed some Red Robin gift cards for us to use for our meal today and we get a yummy meal out before we head to Legoland. And this really works out because now that we're having lunch early before we go, the kids will be fed and they won't be hungry and wanting to have snacks and all that as soon as we hit the park. Well, this is kind of a bust because when we got to Legoland, we found out that it's actually closed today. I looked online, it says that it's open from 10 to 6, but it's closed. It's definitely closed. So Ruben went inside the resort really quick just to ask um, maybe why it's closed and uh, when it'll be open again so that we know when to come back. All right, so Ruben found out that the park is closed on Tuesdays and Wednesdays because it's their off season. Today is Tuesday, so yeah, it's closed. Uh, so instead, we're just gonna park and we're gonna walk around the resort and take a look at it. Maybe someday we'll get to stay here, we'll see. And um, yeah, so and then after that, we'll probably head home or do something else, I don't know, we'll see. Here we are, going to see the Legoland Hotel. Here with David, Isaac. There's so much mosquitoes. And a lot of mosquitoes out here. So we just got back to our RV and look, someone is writing something in the sky. I think it says, he loves you. Can't really see the word he, but that's so neat. And that person is still writing. It looks like he's making another you. The kids want to stay out here and watch this. It's pretty neat. They've never seen anything like this before.
All right, since we got back to the campground early, we decided to go ahead and take a walk. And while the kids are playing, I thought I'd go ahead and answer a question for you guys. A lot of people are wondering why we bought such a tiny RV. And we bought a tiny RV for a few reasons. First of all, our tow vehicle is a 2011 Toyota Sienna, and it can only tow 3,500 pounds. So our camper had to be well below that in order for us to be able to tow it safely. Um, so our camper is a little under 3,100 pounds and then with all of our stuff in it, it's probably definitely at 3,500 pounds now. So that's reason number one. We did look into getting a different vehicle. We went to car dealerships and did research online and we seriously considered getting something like a Honda Pilot that could tow more. But um, in the end, we decided not to because we would have to take on more debt. Our car right now is completely paid off, yay! <laughs> so, um, you know, we we you know we can, while we considered getting another vehicle, we decided to hold off right now because um, that brings me to the next reason why we bought a tiny RV is that we don't know how long we're going to be doing this. We don't want to go ahead and get another vehicle and take on more debt if we decide that we only want to do this for a year and not continue, you know, for five years or whatever. So we wanted to test this out first, see how we liked it for a year, and then if after a year we find it that we absolutely love this lifestyle and don't want to go back to living in a house, then we are completely open to upgrading our vehicle and also upgrading our little camper. So basically, those are a couple of reasons why we decided to go with a tiny RV. We needed uh, one that our car could tow and um, we weren't ready to upgrade our vehicle just yet. And also because we're not sure how long we want to, um, you know, live this way. For right now, we're committed to doing this for at least 12 months. But if we just find out later on that we want to do it for longer, then we will be, be open to um, getting a bigger camper, probably getting... Um, looking into like something like an Airstream or something else. We can't do a fifth wheel because our family is too big for a truck. So um, we ha whatever tow vehicle we have, it's got to be able to fit all seven of us. So those are some challenges that we had and some of the reasons why we chose the tiny little camper that we did. I will say that um, it is small. It's definitely small. We all feel the smallness of it <laughs> every single day, but uh, we're making the best of it. And I will give you guys um, a tour coming up soon I promise but um, you know we're working with what we've got right now we are enjoying it um, we definitely feel the smallness of it but you know we know that later on down the line if we want to continue this lifestyle we'll we'll upgrade and also I wanted to say that yes our camper is small but we are not planning on spending all of our time inside the camper we're getting out and doing a lot of fun things outside already right now we're going to different places we're seeing different things and we're gonna continue to do that while we live this lifestyle so um, it's okay that it's small because we're not gonna be spending all of our time inside the camper and also this camper does sleep seven to eight people it's marketed that way it's for seven to eight it fits all of us we all sleeping it well and it works for us guys One. Pick it up better way. Alright, so we are back in our camper now. We had fun exploring the Thousand Trails campground. They, I think the kids enjoyed the playground the most. We'll probably be back there another day. I'm going to wrap up the vlog right here. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with us. I hope you're doing well and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.
So why did we choose the RV that we did? Good question. Here comes the answers now. Answer number one, this is my vehicle. It's a 2011 Toyota Sienna with a capacity of towing 3,500 pounds. This is RV. Dry weight, 3,100 pounds. That's why. Don't ask again. <laughs>